It's a race condition between what the developers want to do. They're driving for innovation, building organic cloud solutions. At the same time, security has been trying to catch up to make sure that we can run at the same pace they're running towards cloud. Well, my really objective was to understand what was in the cloud, make sure there's guardrails, there's governance, and really provide checks and balances for cloud use. One of the things that we really needed was a way to not only measure vulnerabilities and not only measure misconfigurations, but to actually prioritize them into discrete work that we can give someone to go and fix. So we need a tool like Wiz to actually help us prioritize that and view the, the attack path. Wiz had a much easier interface for the developers to understand and allowed for faster remediation of the findings. So when you have data that's more focused and identifies the risk, then the teams actually have more confidence to take action. Wiz has really helped a lot of our technology teams almost remediate risk through self-service. They're able to log into the same console, see the data that security sees, and understand those critical risks and work towards remediation. It's probably taken some areas where we used to spend days on some of the activities down to you know hours or in some cases minutes overall. So it's been really impactful for us. Before we had Wiz, uh, compliance frameworks was, was quite challenging in the cloud because um, it was a lot more difficult to actually uh, report against those compliance frameworks. So having a tool like Wiz allows you to very quickly see how you compare against a compliance framework for each of your different accounts and subscriptions. Making sure that we're staying a pace of both the drive of our developers and our business to innovate, and as well as staying ahead uh, as we can in front of our uh, threats and those folks that want to do us harm. So I think balancing between the two, I think we found the right solution with Wiz.